Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now this is part two to building three popular video games out of Lego, except this time it is all from the video game Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's get right into this. So for the first build, I built this little wagon here with the horse. I think this turned out really nicely. This is the minifigure I built for it. Um, I used Iron Man's head. I put, gave him a little quiver and a hat. I also got this Lego horse here that they can attach by just simply holding on to the rings. And then now for the actual build, we've got a little lantern here so that you can see in the dark. And there's a little seat where we can take our mini figure and just sit him down right there and then he can hold on and onto the horse. You turn it around to you, you can see we got the wheels here for the technique for like the thing that goes over it. I just use these bendable bar pieces with some clips and some plates. I think this turned out really nicely. Definitely a very interesting technique that I used here, but I think it just looks really good when it's all said and done. Then we've also got some crates in the back here. This one just has a little gun in it that the character must be carrying here. In another bin, we've got some carrots along with an axe. In this crate, we've got a couple of apples. And that's what's in all of these crates here, and they just all simply slide into the back here. And then we can simply just attach the minifigure on the front here. Now for the next build, I wanted to start out by building the main character, Arthur Morgan here. So you can see the pieces I used. Use these legs from a Star Wars character, this torso from a Lego movie, Sheriff robot, um, of course a little satchel. I use Sirius Black's face because I think it worked really well. And then this just black cowboy hat here. We gave him a gun and then also we can give him this little like bandana for if he's robbing something. And the next minifigure I built was Dutch Vanderlyn, who's a villain in the story. So I gave him some black legs, this torso with some white arms. I gave him a, like a little knife here. I gave him this head along with this hair here. And I think he turned out pretty good. Here's both of our minifigures here. So what I built was I built a gun shop. And outside here we had the horse tied up to a little post here. Um, we got just some shrubbery around the edge, which I think that turned out really nice. Some dead bushes and some different colored plants and stuff. Along the back side here, we've got this little trough here with some water in it for the horse. You can see I used a snot technique to attach these tiles onto the side to give us some, maybe some more like wooded, older detail. Coming up to the front up top you can see this is how i did the roof the roof is always also like falling apart and stuff i think that turned out really nice i also put this eagle up here just for a little more decoration and then coming back down we can get the front here the other side i use this knot technique here again i put a window on this side as well and then you can see up here we've got some steps leading up to the actual shop and then of course we got Dutch there. And so if we just move in, you can see behind, we got a door, we got a barrel here that has a pitchfork and a shovel in it. I think that looks super cool. And then we got the door. Also this little lantern here for a little more detail. Coming into the inside here, you see we've got our main character, Arthur Morgan, along with a gun salesman. We got a rack of knives here, machetes. Here we got some bows and arrows mounted on the wall. We got some dynamite back there and some barrels there. I think that turned out looked very nice there, just tucked in the corner. Over here we've got some knives and some larger guns here just mounted on the wall. And that's pretty cool. Down here we've got like a little bar area where there's some guns in a glass display case. Those just are rusting in there. They're not clipped in at all. And I think that looks really nice. And you can just simply slide those right in. And then here's like the little shopkeeper I built. I built this out of some Lego Star Wars minifigures. I think a Lego movie minifigure. And then down below is kind of like a little Easter egg. We got a mouse and a mouse trap. And then for our final build, we've got like a little camp here. So I got like a big um, campfire with a pot over it. I got a tent and a bunch of different mini figures around here. Of course, you can have 
the wagon kind of pull up to it as well. I added a bunch of different shrubbery, different stuff. You can zoom in on the fire here. You can see how I built that. Just a bunch of different fire pieces. And this isn't even clipped down. It's just kind of sat there. And inside the pot, we got some carrots and some hot dogs. Looks like they're making a stew of some sort. Come over here, you can see we got a pot and a bottle. And we got all sorts of shrubbery and stuff. Over here, I've thrown in a Johnny Thunder minifigure. And just, he just works in this build here and over here we got another person here's a tent and this is actually just loosely sat on here so it lifts up you can see that there is a guy inside um he's got an axe behind him i just made like a little bed sort of thing for him right there he's also got a little bottle right there as well that is going to be it for this video let me know down below if you guys enjoyed comment down below also some different video game ideas for part three um, I really enjoyed building these. I think they look great and they definitely represent the game really well in LEGO. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.